All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Toby. This is Driven Intent, and today I have with me the brand new 2020 Audi S8. I am so thrilled, guys. This S8 is amazing beyond words. This is my first Audi S8 I've ever driven or reviewed and brought to you guys. And huge thanks and shout out to Audi Plano right here in Plano, Texas, for making this video possible. There's a lot going for this car from the luxury, the way it drives, the handling, the technology that is packed in this car. It's mind blowing, guys. Without any further ado, let's begin, shall we? All right, guys, welcome back to this 2020 Audi S8 review. And I have the S8 with me out here in this glacial white. First things first, I don't really like the door design right here of the handle, but it's a self-closing door and it's intuitive. It's very sensitive. Just pull right here, the door opens and the right height goes up. You can feel the car move, it's pretty sick. But another thing I didn't like when I was getting to the car was I this pillar is so high. For some reason, I don't know why it's that, it's that high, but you can, uh, bump it to here right here you trip so shout out to the bang and olsen bno audio system this sounds pretty pretty great plenty of speakers plenty of bass plenty of good sound i love the cutout right here for the door handles alcantara carbon fiber works metal works right here gloss i don't like i don't, I don't like that as much a little cubby right here to store you know some change or cash maybe like a couple of hundred thousand you know however much you got close the door right here self-closing Yep, that took a while than I thought. All right, in the brand new 2020 Audi S8, you have the, you know, three screens. This is a screen, yes. One, two, three. This is for your climate control. This is for your MMI, navigation, Apple CarPlay, your infotainment screen, so to speak. I like that a lot in this car. And also, one cool feature I love about this is the vent controls. It's so sensitive. I'm barely resting my finger on it, guys. It's pretty cool. And when you start the car, these vents right here, they close. So when the car is off, you leave the car, it's gonna look like this, all flush carbon fiber. And when the car is on, the vent just slides up and comes up. Kind of like what you find in the Rolls Royce and like, you know, the super high, higher end luxury cars. But for 150 grand, you're getting, you're getting your money's worth in this car, guys. You are getting your money's worth. The pillow right here is covered in Alcantara, Alcantara sunroof. <clears throat> I can tear a headliner, LED lights on the top, pretty, pretty bright. This looks like the headlight or the daytime running light from the front. That's pretty cool. And um, back to the virtual cockpit. I call this a virtual cockpit 2.0 because it's just has few changes done to it, honestly speaking. This display seems much more crisper and they replaced the conventional tack or tachometer with the, you know, sports tachometer so that looks cleaner and just simple tactical very race race car like when you turn the view it just goes back to a bar right here and a bar for your speed so to speak and you can change the view as well you know unknown telephone all that features navigation compass no one really uses that feature i don't know why it's there but it is there nonetheless and it tells you engine information fuel and any temperature you feel on the right overall it's still Audi's virtual cockpit, still the best in my opinion. They, they should consider going 3D, but I think that would be good. Mercedes has a 3D. But moving along to the left right here, you have your light controls, headlight controls. This is for your front, the fog, for the, um, the fog lights and the rear fog lights. Yeah, this car has rear fog lights. Audi's have rear fog lights. It's very, very uncommon. And this controls your light right here. You put on a side marker lights on or off auto. I'm gonna leave that in auto. And your front front lights right here, off all weather. So I like when you adjust this, that light right there, that blue light changes colors to or it just goes on and off. It toggles on and off. So, but I played on the lights. It's very has so many features and functions that it's only three buttons. The steering wheel, nice little wrap steering wheel. Some metal works the four rings 
It's too big for my taste. What do you guys think? It's nice, clean. The R7 has the same steering wheel, you know, but it's covered in knock and terror. It's kind of a little bit thicker, but I prefer the previous generation steering wheel. Yes, this is the new steering wheel, but this is what we're stuck with. That is just my opinion. Carbon fiber right here on the side, on the pillars. I did wish they put Arcantara right here. For some reason, they, they didn't. The RS3 had Arcantara. And this is like hard leather, you know, it's not like soft leather. They should have just replaced that with Arcantara. I feel like that'll be cheaper in my opinion. I feel like that'll be cheaper. And carbon fiber on the shift lever. A speed automatic transmission. Quick shifting. Very responsive. Cup holders right here. Very, very small, minimalist <laughs> cup holders. You have some storage right here in the middle. Oh yes, before I go my storage, look at the key. This is the key fob. This says S on the back, you know, unlock, unlock. That's it, simple, plain. You have some storage right here. Just pull up wireless charging pad for your iPhone, Android, SD card, two USB ports, and this is actual metal, guys, right here, actual metal. Let's take the cup out, glove box real quick. Disk drive, DVD disk drive, believe it or not, and in valet mode. DVD disk drive in this car. Pretty sick. Let me take you guys to the rear seat real quick. And if you're wondering, I'm in the park right here in Addison, Texas. So the wheels, are, they're alright for the stock wheels. Can't complain. Look how much room I have to get in, guys. It's just ridiculous. Remember when I sent the S3s so that I barely had any knee room? I have more than in the knee room. I can fit a table here and eat my lunch while watching the movie. How cool is that? I love how elevated this is right here. I really like that a lot. It feels nice, very premium. You have events right here. Let me go to home screen. Let's go to climate. That's for the rear cool seats. Here the cool seats in the rear, guys. That's insane. You can adjust the audio, you can slide down. It's very, very touch sensitive, guys. Almost like your iPhone. Go to climate. Now it's on. Mind you, the front air condition is off. This is on right here. That's insane, that's, that's amazing. Storage right here, cup holders. What is with this small cup holder? That's just very, that's very, just very, that's just funny to me. Cup holders right here, nonetheless. Cigarette lighter. This is just regular cigarette lighter. Plastic, plasticky, whatever you want to call that. Power outlet right here. You plug your fridge in here, vacuum, whatever you got, plug it in there. My favorite feature in the back seat, this screen. Just as big as my iPhone. This for size comparison. Very nice quality, guys. Look at that. That's insane. Has a nice weight feel to it. It's just as heavy as my iPhone, guys. I love that about this. <laughs> it's insane. You can control your audio, vehicle, Google, Play Store. You can browse the internet right here. Yo, this is insane, guys. Yeah, I like the little touch right here. This Audi logo part, it's illuminated. And you can see there's a camera right here. That's for your mirror. I'll show you if I can play with that real quick. Android, all the way in the back right here, guys. Go to YouTube, watch YouTube. It's a whole studio back here. I'm probably gonna edit my videos in this car, guys, and upload from here. That's insane. Android, Android Play, calendar, camera. You got a camera real quick. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. I must say, like, I am just lost for words. The amount of technology is packed into this car, and you can see Audi's uh, progression. This this is like the pinnacle, the benchmark for the next generation for Audis coming up in 2021, 22, and 23, and, and beyond. You know, you can see uh, how Audi has progressed on all their previous S lines, S1 or S3, S4, S5. And you can see all the technologies brought together in this car. This car, whatever you think about it, this car has it all. Even from the Q8 and the RSQ8, it has borrowed technology from that cars and those cars into this car. So I'm gonna put this in 
dynamic mode it's in dynamic i love the animation that you can see right here as you um go to ali drive select dynamic the car just pulls up to the front and this car is amazing i keep saying that but it is so i love the haptic feedback that you get with the dual screens kind of like your iphone but this feels better which is very strange you know I, apple should have that down board but this feels so much better like the iphone had the feedback the touch screen as well kind of like a 3d touch so to speak i love that click that you hear whenever you activate certain functions and keys you do get apple carplay android auto on this car but um enough about talking let's get to the driving shall we nowadays there's a lot of cars that are so unassuming there's great power being being unassuming or as a person or just an object or just in general they're just flying under the radar and this car does it like nobody else First, let's start with the power. 560 horsepower, turbocharged V8. Four liter turbocharged V8, 560 in an SA. Yeah, this car looks big, but don't let the size fool you guys. Because this car can move its own weight like it's an S3, almost. You know, and that has 400 horsepower. 560 horsepower going to all four wheels. So, if you guys are familiar with the Audi RS7s or the S7s, you know, the newer design and whatnot, they come with that, you know, twin turbocharged V8 and the all wheel drive Quattro, true Quattro. This has that same Quattro um, engine or platform as well. And you also have rear wheel steering on this car. Included with that is air suspension from the Q8. So, the amount of me mechanics that goes into building a car like this is just mind blowing. It's it's almost beyond belief. This car for one hundred fifty thousand dollars, you best be getting you be getting your bang for your buck for this kind of car, guys. And I do appreciate that. So George driving right here, sitting at a traffic light. It's dead quiet in this car. It's almost too quiet. Like it's all like the fan speed right now. It's on its medium setting. I can barely hear it. You know when you get into the car, the lighting, the way the car welcomes you, the the accent, the kind of like coffee brown interior with the black accents and the Alcantara on the side with the carbon fiber all that goes together as a very very nice cohesive package I love that a lot and when you turn on the climate control zones it's always just flush and then the vent, vent just slides off you know slide up like that the cool little animation you want to call that and then the light strip on the bar dashboard I love all that a lot guys this car has tons of features for it that I gotta send it guys I have to send it <laughs> Bump. I barely felt that. Any car would have like parts falling out because of that little track right there for the train tracks. But I barely felt that. This air suspension is so adaptive. One well, of my favorite feature about the air suspension is when you turn up the car, you're leaving the car, let's say, you know, going out on a date with your girl, you know, leaving your car, or walking away from the car in a parking lot, turn the car off, you know, lock the keys or lock the door. The air suspension just goes back to goes back down an inch. I believe I showed that in my 2020 um, Q8 video. That had the same feature as well. This is not no none different. When you get to the car, you open the car, you get, open the doors. The right height goes back up. It's so nice, guys. You barely notice it. It's like a split millimeter millisecond. It's like it's very very responsive. You know, I'm just figuring out how the amount of technology and engineering that goes into you know, to having air suspension, rear wheel steering, and all wheel drive. That's like three major things right there in this car. Make that possible. But here we are today, because when you take in a, this car is a long sedan, so it does need that technology, the rear wheel steering to turn it. So when you turn it in uh, tight corners or in, even it's out in the mountain in town, grabbing a cup of coffee or something like that, you just turn around, man, and pop a UE or something, the car turns like no other. When I first turned the car out, I just, I just noticed, I was like, why did it turn so easily? Because I was I don't know, assuming I want to do like a you know, three point turn or whatever, but I just made that in one turn. And it was a tight bend, it was a two lane road. You know, coming from a three-lane road to a two-lane road, I was mind blown. I was like, what the heck is this? This car is amazing in the driving dynamics. Very quiet. The engine, you can hear the rumble, the roar. Like when you get on the gas, it has that V8 hour seven like tone to it it's insane here 
like it's just growls and then the power just thrusts you to your seat and then you, oh yes we have the uh lane keeping assist on i forgot about that <laughs> sometimes i can like just be scary sometimes because you forget it's on and it's steering wheel moves and you're thinking what's going on um this has you know braking assist forward collision warning and adaptive cruise lamb um, blind spot monitoring all the safety features you ever think even the camera keep you in lanes right here you know audi audi's uh, traffic assist it has all that package in this car this car technology wise is beyond any other car i've seen on the road or i've test driven as far as safety goes comfort goes and luxury goes hands down because this car is aware of its surroundings and they have the 360 degree camera view in this car they better have it it does have it i've played around with that and um, it's very fluid i love how the um because the way that works is it stitches different images from different angles and mirrors you know from the front the back and then makes it all like just fluid i love how it is there's no lag anything like that you gotta wonder like what the i believe it might still be nvidia that's powering the um audi virtual cockpit it might be the same software or you know cpu powering the, the input cement system and the climate control zones and then the rear seats you have two more climate control zones in the rear seats with a you know, detachable tablet which is pretty nice as well i do like the two screens in the back behind me on the seats full comfort in the back the back seat leg room is plenty of leg room in this car guys i'm during my sitting position i have more knee room than i ever had in an suv it, that's that's saying a lot that's saying a lot but have a display up front it's very vibrant i love how you can change the display i had a display up front from the input system right here you have to like bury yourself into the menu looking for you know scrolling to the left and right how oh, is it here is it here when you're trying to just it's just right there i love how audi just takes those you know, intuitive the features and just separate that from the driving dynamics of the you know and just put it to the side you know yes it's part of driving dynamics how it makes you drive you know driving comfort so to speak but this one is just, I love how they put it to the side, the different menu in the infotainment system. All you have right here in the virtual cockpit is the navigation, which is uh, Google Earth, the dials and whatnot. I do, comparing, com comparing this virtual cockpit to the previous generation, I love this a lot because it's cleaner, it's newer, it's more much more tactical. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. That was immense speed for that turn. That is insane. I can't believe I made that turn. I'm not gonna tell you what speed that was, but the way this thing turns in corners, holy crap, man. <laughs> on power oh boy you feel all that 560 plus horsepower guys considering this is a big freaking car Audis are so 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 good at minimizing you know turbo like all that just puts the power down properly to all four wheels. That is, mind you, that is very, very hard to do, but Audi just does it so well. They know how the power is being delivered, how to serve the power to you in increments. And there's no like, you know, happy rev range in this car. There's no low end, end range. It's all in the torque curve and the RPMs. That is pretty good, guys. That is pretty, pretty good. I can drive some low speeds during town and be comfortable. And at low speeds, this thing just turns so easily. It makes you forget you're in a big car. Like you know you can see you're in a big car, but every time you get behind the wheel of this car and you turn, you just, you just like, you just forget. Like, oh yeah, it's a big Audi. Like, like it's nothing. All right guys, that is all I have time for today for this 2020 Audi S8 review. $150,000 for a car that that's more that's lots a lot of money i'll tell you that but for people out here that can afford a car like this get one i urge you guys to get one you love this thing guys it's comfort you're looking for a daily driver you know, maybe you have like a mclaren somewhere or you have any other car as a matter of fact this car is a good daily driver your wife can drive it 
maybe not your maybe not your uh, your teenage kids or whatever because <laughs> this is a very expensive car but but people like like cars and Audis in particular the asset should be one car that should be highly considered on your shopping list for 2020 Audi did a great job with the new redesign of the you know S lineup the S7 R7 A7 and the S8 and you know S3s and on and on and on this car has all that features this car has, even more, with its air suspension, adaptive cruise, rear wheel steering wheel, and a true quattro. 400 and 560 horsepower to all four wheels. This car is amazing in so many ways. And in technology, the safety, the comfort, this car, this car checks all those boxes. A few things I didn't like about this car is the interior, we know the very, very magnetic dust magnet of the dashboard of the gloss materials. The steering wheel, it's on the comfort side, more like luxury side, from the A7, borrowed from the A7, even the RS7. The new design for the steering wheel, I don't like that as much as I like the S3s and the RS3s with the flat bottom because this car steering wheel is so compact. But I can understand that this car has that kind of steering wheel because it's, it's a big sedan, big luxury sedan, and you, you need to be able to see your gauges, you know, big cutouts and 9 and 3. It's decent steering wheel, but I prefer the older generations. And also the door handles. That's not that's my this is my taste in particular. Door handles, unlike the way it's like, you know, it's very it's shaped weird. I don't know. It's just you tell me what you guys think, but to me I prefer regular conventional door handles and the self-closing feature. I love that too. Overall, this car has a lot more upside and downside. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel. If you're finding my channel for the first time, consider i highly consider subscribe and now you like the like button share this video with your friends family co-workers and anyone shopping for the 2020 s3s or s8 excuse me and um i have an announcement for you guys in my next video if you guys have been following my channel for a while i was looking for a car to buy i found one and i have the car i'll tell you more on that later but there's more things coming for the to this channel for 2020 as always don't forget guys to stay driven and peace out